Okay, I'm gonna try to redo the video. Uh, this is for my friend Andy. Yes, I was completely out of frame. And I don't know if this is gonna help, but I'll try. So, have a roll of nine gauge galvanized tension wire. The same stuff they use for chain link fences uh, holding down usually like along the bottom. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make a hog ring, uh, out of this. So using just a standard pair of, uh, vice grips and I'm not going to clamp it all the way across. This is uh, about a half inch across and I'm going to clamp it just about halfway doesn't have to be real tight it gives me one hook and then the next piece I'm gonna clamp it right around in here which is about this edge and this edge are about even Maybe just a little less. When I spin this around, I'm doing it so that these two don't line up exactly. This is off, off to one side. And that's so when you crush it, the two ends don't hit together. You know, uh, That way it'll actually crush all the way down like you need it to. Piece is just to cut this piece off, and this is a little harder on the table here. Chop it off, have the ring, need a little more space. You can either cut a little bit of metal out of it or you can take the pliers and widen it up. Uh, you can also, you know, get it and bend it, adjust it, however you need to. So that's how I'm making them. You can buy these things. Uh, it's it's really hard to find a heavy gauge one and then when you do find a heavy gauge one the hog ring pliers the normal ones that you would buy um, just aren't big enough so I was using vice grips uh, to crush them um, I'm gonna do another little clip here in a minute uh, or add to this one is probably what I'm gonna do and show you how I'm clamping those down. So I'll be back in a sec.